Mark Rogers TV and ProFootballCentral.com. Just a few minutes after Georgia survived Tennessee at Neyland Stadium 34-31 in overtime. And Butch Jones feeling some of that pain and hurt that Derek Dooley used to feel in some of these close losses trying to get over the hump in the SEC and talk about pain and hurt. That's the storyline of the Georgia offense. That's all they know at this point. One of the most prolific offenses in college football, missing firepower all over the place. I don't know that I've ever seen injuries of this magnitude to this many key players in one unit of a football team in week five. So, of course, Malcolm Mitchell lost to an ACL against Clemson in week one. Todd Gurley missed this game due to an ankle injury suffered a week ago. Then his backup, one of the best in the nation, Keith Marshall, Five attempts, 33 yards in this game, but he was carted off the field as well to a knee injury. Knee injuries is all Mark Richt is going to know because it was also Justin Scott Wesley leaving the game due to a severe knee injury in this football game. He was one of Aaron Murray's favorite targets, a quarterback who spreads it out to a lot of different targets, but he's losing targets. Uh, Scott Wesley uh, was leading the team with 289 yards receiving. So you've got Gurley, Mitchell, Marshall, and Scott Wesley down to injuries. You've got G.G. Green. He's just a freshman, number 15. He had to lug the football, and he did it rather well in place of Gurley and Marshall. 17 carries, 129 yards, as Georgia needed to find offense from somewhere to the point where number 17, a senior, Rantavius Wooten, he's a senior. He had caught two passes in his, his entire career at Georgia. He was counted on to catch six passes in this football game, but none bigger than that final one on the final Georgia drive of regulation, trailing 31-24. They had to make it happen, and with just a couple seconds left on third down, Wooten hooked up with Murray, and you've got to think that these guys don't get too many reps together in practice, but Wooten engaged the defensive back and then cut off the ball back to it on the slant, and Murray placed it the only place that he could and the football was right there, and Wooten made a great hands catch and had to react very quickly. So Wooten credit this kid. Again, four years at Georgia, two pass receptions, and he catches six in this game, plus the one, the game winner, Then when they needed it with just five seconds left on the clock to get to overtime. And you've got a feel for Pig Howard, a wide receiver for Tennessee out of Orlando, a sophomore who made a lunging play, diving, stretching, for the pylon uh, on that first drive for Tennessee in overtime, but he lost the football at about the half-yard line. Instead of going out of bounds, it went through the end zone, touched back to Georgia. That set up the game winner uh, for the Georgia Bulldogs off the leg of Marshall Morgan, uh, 43-yard field goal. So Georgia survives this week, 34-31, and championship teams sometimes have to survive especially on the road against lesser opponents. Georgia, a 10.5-point favorite, which would have been much more had they been um, with their entire team coming to Knoxville, and especially Gurley missing at this point. But uh, they hang on for the victory. But what is the future impact of all these injuries? Well, we don't know the severity of these injuries at this point, but going forward, Georgia has a date coming up with a much improved Missouri team Fortunately for the Bulldogs, that comes up in two weeks. They get a bye week, as does Tennessee taking on South Carolina on October 19th. G.G. Green, the freshman, five attempts this entire season coming into Knoxville. Lugs the football 17 times for a buck 29 in place of Gurley and Marshall for Georgia. Justin Worley has faced the booze at quarterback for Tennessee in his own stadium. He came up big, played the best game of his career, 17 of 31, For 215, one touchdown, and no picks. Georgia, again, has Missouri next, then on down the line against the Florida Gators, most notably as they try to get to the SEC championship game. And we will find out more details about the injuries to to Gurley as he tries to recover. And uh, certainly Keith Marshall, that did not look good. Scott Wesley, and more for the Georgia Bulldogs. As Aaron Murray leads a comeback, and we talk about his record against top 10 foes, that uh, much maligned 3-11 and statistic against top 10 foes. But this could turn out to be a key victory for him as a senior in leading the Bulldogs to an SEC championship. Georgia and Tennessee fans would love to hear from you. Tennessee fans, hey, you lost the game, 
but the uh, team received a standing ovation coming off the field. What a great effort at home in almost really coming within inches of setting up that winning score and uh, possibly holding Georgia in overtime to win the football game. Rajon Neal and that veteran Tennessee offensive line really pushed Georgia around. 28 carries for a buck 48 and two touchdowns for Neal, but Tennessee could not get the key stops late in the football game and on that final drive as Wooten caught the game winner. Uh, the game tired to send it to overtime from Aaron Murray. So again, Georgia fans would love to hear from you as well as Tennessee fans, SEC football fans right here on Mark Rogers TV.